One of the many reasons people switch to Linux is because it lets you control and customize your operating system in any way you want. You can make it look and feel like anything you can think of, but it often comes with a whole new learning curve. What is a window manager? A compositor? What are DOF files? What are GTK themes? What are Qt themes? And many more questions to ask when you venture deeper into this case. And if all of this seems very daunting to switch to Linux from Windows, luckily you can make your Windows look and feel like Linux with the help of some additional projects. Let's start with the top bar. I use something called called ZBar, not Zebra. It is a project that lets you create custom widgets for your desktop. It is a very simple program that simply lets you display system information on the top bar, which you cannot do on Windows default taskbar. You might notice that my ZBar shows just a little more information than the default one. For example, I have my audio level being shown at the top and I have moved the weather to the center. I've also added a widget that shows which media is playing at the moment, if any. I also hid my Wi-Fi's name and instead chose to show the network strength. Now, you might have noticed that I have my application is tiled in a nice manner and if I open a new one it is being tiled accordingly but how am I doing this actually I'm using tiling window manager for windows known as glaze wm which is inspired by i3 wm the best part is that it comes with zbar integrated so you can simply install glaze and get access to zbar with it I think the keyboard shortcuts philosophy is based on wim the command line text editor glaze comes with a handful of default shortcuts the ones you will use the most are alt plus v to change the tiling direction alt plus the number of the workspace that you want to focus on. If that workspace doesn't exist, Glaze will create one. A workspace is basically a virtual desktop. Other shortcuts include Alt plus H, J, K, L keys to shift focus from one window to another. Similarly, if you hold Alt plus Shift and then press H, J, K, L keys, you can rearrange windows and move them to different monitors if you have more than one. And if you want to move a specific window to a specific workspace, you can do that by simply holding Alt plus Shift and then pressing the number of the workspace you want to move it to. You can also make Make your window floating if for some reason you want to do that by pressing alt plus shift plus spacebar. Now that being said, I have customized one of the shortcuts. Alt plus Z that changes the tiling direction instead of the default alt plus V. But I have added a new one which is alt plus B to open a new browser window. As for the space between these windows, by default it is way too much because the creator of this project uses 4k monitors so I turned them down to match my own aesthetic. Now I think the biggest selling point of the next app is that it adds killer features to your windows operating system. To be precise, it adds 28 modules or utilities. As you can see, I don't typically use most of the features it provides and well, that's because I have Glaze managing some of the things and some are for more advanced users. The ones that I find really helpful for everyday tasks are Text Extractor, which lets you extract text from anything, and I mean anything. Color Picker, which lets you pick colors if you're making thumbnails or working with designs. Find My Mouse, if you have multiple monitors or large screen size, it lets you find your mouse very easily. Image Resizer, I mean, seriously it just resizes your image. Mouse highlighter, good for tutorial kind of videos or if you're giving a presentation. Power rename, which lets you bulk rename files on your system. Shortcut guide, this is very useful if you're struggling to remember shortcuts for certain things. And lastly, and probably the best module slash utility, Power Toys Run, which is similar to Spotlight Search on macOS, GNOME Search on GNOME desktops, or KRunner on KDE desktops. It is blazingly fast and can find anything within seconds. Aside from just searching stuff on your system, it can do other cool stuff like math, open programs, search the web, do unit conversion, just to name a few. But this is how I make my windows feel like Linux without actively switching to a Linux distribution on my machine. Oh, by the way, there's one more thing that I forgot to tell you. Element of surprise!